Hi, my best friends in the whole world. I have been really, have you ever gotten just busy doing nothing? Because that's what I've been doing. I've been busy doing nothing. I got a couple of things here started. I started, um, you ever heard of space bags? Well, I'm putting, since I'm not doing anything much with yarn right now, and I don't want to get rid of it, I'm putting my yarn in a space bag. It's going to make a whole lot more room in this here room. And then Jeffrey was watching some Netflix cartoons, so I started cutting out some of my little horses. These are just pictures of horses, um, carousel horses. That's in a carousel horse book I got. But I'm going to make unicorns out of them. All they need is a little horn, and I'm going to do that. And so, see, pretty much no thought, just doing stuff, just cutting these out. Aren't they beautiful? I thought, you know what would look pretty is if I do a whole mixed media page, and then this goes in the center of it. And um, see there? There's another one. There's another one on the leg of my table that Jeffrey taped to the leg of my table. I can't show you that one. But anyhow, I was doing, so I was doing the yarn thing, punched out a few whole um, two and a half inch circles. Then the mail came. Here, I got a mail from an almost neighbor. An almost neighbor. Look at this. In fact, me and this said neighbor, we have chatted online, and one day we're going to get together, and we're going to do something, even if it's wrong. And I feel like the more I talk to him or her, the more I think it's going to be wrong, because I think she sounds like she is going to be more fun than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And her name is is Kathy, and she comes from the Kathy's Creative Life. You may have seen some of her videos. Now, so from Kathy's Creative Life, she sent me a happy mail. And I know it's a happy mail because it's not a bill. If there's a bill in here, I'm going to put me return to sender. So there, I cut the top off. And first thing I see when I look in here is purple. Now, if you see purple, you know it's going to be something fantabuloso. Oh, <gasps> Kathy, Kathy, <gasps> Kathy, look at that. I'm going to punch circles out of this. Now, Kathy, 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 look. Oh, see, now, unicorns are real. They are real. They're not fake. And I have got so much unicorn stuff now that it is just nothing but proof that they are real. Look at these. Look at that. Now, and purple. Look at this paper. These are 12 by 12. <gasps> Ooh, look at this paper. Look at this. Here it's just, it's just plain ordinary purple and white paper until this like it's kind of a greenish brownish goldish color is put on to make it look like it is aged and that makes this into the perfect oh, and here's some with polka dots and it looks like boards like barn boards and look at that all purple and look at that it's all got that like an old barn board look on it now I'm telling you that is beautiful when it's got that makes it look like old barn boards that just turns that into it turns it it magicalizes it magicalizes now look at this look at all these purple sheets and do you know what there is enough here to do a whole journal maybe even two journals I could probably make enough signatures out of this one stack of papers to make. Well, depending on what size of a book I use for the binding, this, and it's cardstock. It's not just paper. It's cardstock. And it's all the purples, like the whole family of purples. Look at that. That's perfect. And then this, oh, 
you know what? I've been saving up my stuff for my um, unicorn journal. And, oh, and look at here. Here's a piece of vellum. Purple. Paper bags. Oh, paper bags. <gasps> Popcorn. And do you know that the best unicorn, unicorn's favorite food, there's three of them. They have three, un, unicorns have three, um, you know, so that they stay on a balanced diet. Popcorn, M&Ms, and cotton candy. That's right. Look at that. I got two of them bags. That is cool. Now, and here is two. Two paper bags that can go as pages. You know what? I'm going to use this. This is what I'm using. This, and look at this whole package. An, in not just one or two napkins. A whole entire package of unicorn napkins. And that's the same ones that's on the package that she sent me. Well, Kathy, my love. Oh, these are beautiful. There's a whole bunch in there. Two ply. There's 12 of them. No, 12. There's 20 in there. They're 12 and 7 eighths by 12 and 3 quarters. 20 napkins, all unicorns. Now, what is this? These. Oh, wait a minute. Hold your horses. <gasps> oh, look. Oh. This is postcards <clears throat> from Virginia. Someone who loves me went to Virginia. <coughs> Excuse me. And got me this magnet. Look at that. Kathy, that's awesome. We've been invited to go to Virginia in October 19th, another wedding. My stepson is getting married on October 19th in Virginia. Oh, this is awesome. Cannons at the Civil War battlefield at Manassas, Virginia. Now, Manassas, oh no, she doesn't live there anymore. My daughter, my daughter-in-law did live in Manassas and still her grandfather lives in Manassas. This is the Manassas, Manassas Civil War Battlefield in Virginia. I'll have to show her these when I see her then. See her again to see if she's ever been there. And then this one is from South Carolina. Edisto Gardens in Orangeburg, South Carolina. <gasps> Look at the flowers. Those are beautiful. I just love... <gasps> Probably my favorite pictures of ever is old wooden bridges. Did you ever watch that movie, The Bridges of Madison County? <gasps> uh, one of my favorite movies. Yes, it was one of my most favorite movies. But then I love, oh, what's her name? What is her name? Um, Meryl Streep. Love her. Oh, I love her. She is like actress in e numero uno. Now, this is in McCormick County, South Carolina. Scene of yesteryear, number nine. Thank you for these. Now, see, she told me she was getting me some postcards, and she did. She did. Oh, thank you. Oh, my word. Let me put these back in here because i got to put your name on them because so I know where they came from. Mm, my husband will like this magnet, too, because uh, his son, um, Stephen, is in Virginia. He's in... um. He's not near Manassas or that other one. He's he's in down in that little point, Colburn, Colburn, or somewhere near Colburn. Oh, now what is this? For one thing, I love the bags. I love the little bags, pockets. I FDR, Warm Springs, Georgia, a president's journey. Andersonville. Where now? Where is that? Georgia. That's in Georgia, too. This, is this a map? Oh, yeah. There is Georgia. Look at this stuff that's going in my book. 
Oh my god. Oh. I love this man. I know a lot of people say differently maybe. I love him. This man this man I love him. That's all I can say. I love him. Jimmy Carter went from peanut but peanut butter peanut farmer <gasps> prohibition museum where is this this is in savannah would i love to go to a prohibition museum oh my word <laughs> medicinal whiskey prescriptions filled here this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Riverfront Historic Canal Cruises. Oh my. These are, oh, this is going to be fun. President, West Georgia's Presidential Pathways. Welcome to Presidential Pathways. We stand ready to roll out the red carpet for you. Georgia on my mind. Oh, this is going to be interesting, interesting, interesting to read. This is interesting to read and a lot of things in here for my um for my journal. John Henry Doc Holiday born August 14, 1851 in Griffin, Georgia. And Franklin Delano Roosevelt this is a lot of good stuff for reading. I won't read it all to you right now because I'm sure that you probably need to go rake the leaves or something, whatever it is that y'all do when you're not watching. When you're not watching. Now here's something in here. Something's in here. Ooh. There is like six little bags. And each bag has got... Let me see. I think... It looks to me each, like each one has little punch outs. Look at, I hate to open them because look at, they got the little, oh, you know what I'll do? Who's knocking on the door? Is Well, it's not Bernie because Bernie's already in here. Must be Oliver. Now let me see. Let me see what's in here. <gasps> oh, little tiny punch outs. Look, flowers. These are all little flowers. Okay, and they're all vellum. They're all vellum. Now, see, these are going to be used on my... See, because I just got into that real crazy. I have been making so many little... Um, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pull all of these out because they're little. And these ones here are... These are flowers, too, in this one. These ones are... More flowers in this one. These ones are more flowers in this one. So it, I'm looking through the light more because since they're in the vellum envelopes, more in this one. Okay, so I'm not going to pull them all out of there because I, I'll have them all over the place and then I won't know where they are. But I've been making so many of these artist trading coins. I've been just having a blast with them. And finding things to put on them is is been amazingly fun. Now these these little um for one thing I can dip them into color and I can um, add them on my coins and that's where those are going to be used is on my coins because I am really into that right now. See how I got the little spots already right there? Yeah. So I'll leave them in there. And now this, another beautiful envelope. I love the envelopes. Ooh, oh. This is a very old postcard. This is very old postcard. And it's got, the, the stamp has been taken off, but the post um, mark, the postmark is still on there. And look, look at that um, penmanship on there. 
That is beautiful. You know, penmanship at one time in schools was taught to where you wrote, you cursive writing, you wrote it to where it could, that it was beautiful. It was like an art. And that's what this is. Pro Katrina, Katarina Pearl. Matering ten to and I and I can't read those and and correspondence and I'm almost thinking it's German that might be a German word for correspondence. I'm not sure. That's amazing. Thank you. Wow. Holy smokes. And then here is this is a map of, it is a treasure map in Italy. This is in Italy. Oh, this is fun. This is in Italy. See, I see stuff on the inside here. And it's Assisi Italia, hotels and restaurants. Wonderful. Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is fun. And then this is Enjoy Catalina Islands Exciting Activities. And the Catalina Islands are Santa Fe Catalina Island. This was printed in 1985. Where are the Catalina Islands? Let's see. See, so much I should know, and I know nothing. Oh, look at the fun these people are having in the Catalina Islands. Catalina Island, golf, tennis, fishing, diving, horseback riding, water sports, bicycling. Oh, it's in, in, the, in um, California. Okay. It's in California. <laughs> How wonderful. Oh, geez. This is, I'm going to have a world tour. In my, in my book will be a world tour. Now, this is, let me see. Oh, this looks like it might be a little journal. When the things around you make you want to hide, remember God gave hope to keep the, a smile inside. Oh. And this is, all of these are, this is like a whole bunch of the same. Oh, and these are like little cards. Be strong and take heart. All you, and excuse me, be strong and take heart. All you who hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, 24. So these are cards. But you know what? She put them together like in a signature. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. Well, I got to show you these. Because you look at that image on the front. That's beautiful. Thank you, Kathy. I can't wait to have, I can't wait till I can hang out with you. We're going to do it. I'm not making any plans right now till uh, we're done with our plans. Um, our travel plans that we have coming up. And so I'm trying to just get things done before then. But then I, by the month of August, I'm going to be free to be me. And so that's when I'm hoping to make my own plans. Well, I don't have any of my own plans because I don't drive anymore. I miss not driving, but I know the other people on the street, they don't miss it. One time we was coming home from Virginia. We was in Virginia. We were coming home and um, I hadn't drove at all. Well, I wasn't about to drive at them mountains. But um, the mountains. I'd never drove in the mountains. And I wasn't about to drive in the mountains, but um, 
when we got back onto Florida, into Florida, well, then we were in the flatlands of Florida, and I said to the hopster, I said, well, you know what, now I can drive some, I can give you a break, and he said, yeah, I guess that would be good, so I got in there, and we're driving, we're on 19, and 19 is just no straight road on the flatlands, and um, so I went to pass somebody, and then the hubster says, maybe I should take over right driving. I said, why would you want to do that? I'm doing fine. He goes, tell that to that guy in the ditch back there that you just run off the road. That's what he said. That's what he said to me. I said, I didn't put him in the ditch. He put in there himself in the ditch. He says, he wouldn't be in the ditch if you didn't run him off the road. It was so Hubster took over driving. It was shortly after that that I said, you know, maybe I shouldn't drive anymore for the safety of others. But anyway, yeah, that was then. This is now. I still don't drive. <laughs> I'm, I, the guy probably, I hope the guy that I run off the road or the lady, I hope that they didn't have like a heart attack and die or something. But that's been a lot of years ago, so I don't know. Now, here's another package. This is another package. This one here cometh all the way from New Jersey. I don't need to have to look. Oh, no, New York. Why does this say New York? I thought, this is NY, New York. I thought she lived in New Jersey. Why in the heck did I think that? Son of a biscuit eater. Okay, this comes from Deborah Mayo. Now, Deborah, 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 Deborah. Deborah spoils me so rotten. Um, she's the sweetest lady. I'm telling you, I wouldn't trade hers for a solid gold chicken. But she sent me this here package right here, and it's stuffed full of stuff. So now I'm going to take it out here. Oh, oh, our family. Look, that's pretty. I'm in my light shining. I'm making a shadow. See there? There's stickers. Love those. Love the, and family. It's about family. So, and I do love family, even though they're driving me insane right now. I love them anyway, nonetheless. Here's one of gardening. Oh, I love gardening. I don't do much gardening anymore, but I have. I just had my house hubster pick me up a big bag of um, potting soil because I'm doing more um, things in the pots that I can water easily. And so how does your garden grow? So I like those. Thank you, my dear. Beautiful. And oh, look at these. These are all sticky notes. These are all sticky notes. And look at all the different colors and shapes. They're beautiful. Oh, look, they got holes in them so they will fit in your notebook, in your binder. And then here, oh, another one. So I have two. So I have a bunch. I have two. One for me and one to share, maybe. Oh, wow. This is a backpackish kind of a bag with a unicorn. Look, it goes on your back. Oh, do I love this or what? I love this. And this is lightweight. So it's not like you're carrying a backpack. It's like, it's like, but it, but it works like a backpack and use it for a purse. Ooh, that'll go with me when we go traveling. Ooh, I love it. And it's got this beautiful unicorn and it's got pink straps on it. It's got like little leather corners to strengthen that's amazing. That's good. That strengthens the corners. Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, yay. Look at these big beads. I have just, now, I keep changing my style of loves, but I watched this show. I've watched the whole series, all four seasons of the series. Oh, here's some more. Wait a minute. Here's some more. I see more of a different size. And I watch, and in that, um, it, look at these, three quarter inch and one inch. They call them dowel caps. Oh, but I can punch the hole all the way through if I so choose. These ones, the hole goes all the way through. But 
I was, and um, Lily Tomlin played in this series, and I love her. I just love her. She's like my hero. Gosh, I love her. But she wore always these big, clunky necklaces. They were just big and bold and clunky, and I loved them. And it's like every show she had on a different necklace, and they were beautiful. And I said, I am going to start making myself some big, clunky necklaces. And look at these beads. These can be painted, and I can start my necklaces out of these. I'm looking through my, um, my junk jewelry pieces that I have, and... I see already I'm getting a lot of inspiration. And now I have these. This is amazing. And so I'll use something like this is what I'm going to even use for the for um, the strings on them. Rather than chains, I don't like chains. I want a lot of wood. I think I'm going to use like polymer clay and make things. And that's how I'm going to make my necklaces. I want them clunky. I want them beautiful and clunky and different colors to go with everything. Oh my goodness. Mini writing tablets. And they're pink. Look how little they are. They are so little. Three and a half by five. These are cute. These are neat. You know what would be fun? A lot Are these... No, they're not a sticky backs. They're not sticky. So they're just a paper. What I like to do is I like to make my greeting cards. When I make a greeting card, I like to make a greeting card with just an art on the front and inside a pocket with maybe a quote on the pocket, but not for anything particular, not for happy birthday, not for anniversary, nothing. Just the art on the front and a pocket. And in the pocket, uh, so a, a note, paper, to put your message on. Because I like writing my own messages on my card. Because, um, you know, Hallmark doesn't always write what I want to say. So these are going to go perfect inside a card. And look at that size. And this, look at this. This, okay, now, Deborah, oh, these. Look at the colors and the glitter. Now she made these flowers. And look at the glitter. Look at these. These are so beautiful. How pretty these are going to be in the page of a journal. Love, love, love them. Love that glitter. Like Katrina Hansen says, she says, if there's glitter on it, it's been kissed by a unicorn. She knows about unicorns too. She might live in Denmark, but they have them over there. They have, they have um, unicorns in, in Denmark. Oh my gosh! <gasps> what is this? These are. Look. Isn't that beautiful? Does that say Tim Holtz all over it? It doesn't say Tim Holtz on it, but just the look. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, in heaven, look at these tags. Oh, these are Tim Holtz. Look at these. They're like a three by three. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter. These are, oh my, I love these. I love these. Oh my goodness. Huh? Tim Holtz, you know, I've said some ugly things about Tim Holtz lately because just because I was mean, I was being mean about my mat here, but um, I'm still using my mat and I don't think it's his fault. I think it's the manufacturer's fault, not his. I do not think because his idea is perfect, but the manufacturer, they kind of I think he just has to find a different manufacturer to make things a little bit better than these. But, oh, my heavens. Oh, look at the world map. And you know what? These are just the greatest. Oh, they got double sides. Oh. 
Oh, look at this. See, and I have this very same. I've seen this very same piece in a piece of 12 by 12 paper. And look at in here in three and a half, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. <gasps> look at these. Look at the butterflies. Lucky is a state of mind. Yes. Dream big. These are, these are the cat's meow. Oh my gosh. I can't get them back in that little big envelope. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love them. Oh, more hearts. And this, she, didn't, you sent me hearts before, I believe, darling. And um, I put them hearts aside because these hearts, too, I'm doing a, um, a canvas, which has got a lot of dripping hearts on it. And I'm using, I might have to paint these another color. But I'm using hearts all on it. But these here hearts, perfect size. I may have to paint them because the whole thing is going to look more, um, what do they call that? Oh, no, I can't remember what they call that. But I, but I may have to paint them. And look at the elephants. Oh, and they're baby elephants. Baby elephants at Daphne's show. Sheldrick's Nairobi Orphanage. Oh, how cute are they? You know what I need to do, and my kid, my granddaughter would love it, is if, because she likes to look at animals too, is I should make a journal just with animal pictures, just a picture book. Just a picture book with animals, because I have so many beautiful animals, images that I have found that will work perfect. Oh, look at these hearts. Talk about hearts, girlfriend. Oh, these are going to be perfect. These are foam stickers. There's a hundred in here. You know what? I love putting hearts on the ends of my strings in my journals, and I call them heart strings. Because I love heartstrings. Things pull at my heartstrings. Like like these happy nails. They just pull at my heartstrings. And you know when when something pulls at your heartstrings, you just it it's it, it's just it's just like winding up your love connection. And so look at all these hearts I have. There's a hundred in there. I love them. Okay, now, and in here, oh, you are kidding. This, another thing I wanted, I wanted these. I don't know if she's been listening to me or something, but these are, are these all from the Woa store? These are the cup holder warmers, cup holders. You can put your these in your cup. And I have now got, well, now I got a bunch. I think I had was up to four. These are all from the Wawa store. Oh, but they're different. Oh, they're not all the same. USO and Welcome America. Look at them all. Now I have a bunch. Oh, these are beautiful. Do they, these make beautiful pockets in your, in, in your journals? They make beautiful pockets in your journals. And in my scavenger hunt, I have one in my scavenger hunt book for, um, on my, is it a coffee page? I think it is the coffee page that I have one glued in there already. But these make a beautiful pocket and I'm sure many other things. Now that I have so many, I will definitely um, I research. It's amazing. You can put stuff in. Oh, and more hearts. More hearts. I'm happy. Hearts make me happy. I think hearts make everybody happy, though. And here's some more hearts. Look at them hearts. Oh, is this? This feels like a magnet. Locker magnets. 
if that isn't the cutest thing. These are locker magnets. You can put them on your locker or I can put them on anything metal. My file cabinet, I can put them on anything metal. What's metal in here? These are awesome. These are awesome. Or maybe Kimberly will steal them from me for her uh, her, her locker. Ooh. Oh, look at these shaker stickers. Oh, and look at they got like glitter in them. And unicorns. Oh, that's wonderful. It's all rainbows and unicorns. Just be magical. Oh, life is magical. Now, oh, look, here's a little, like a bookmark. It says, may God, who understands each need, who listens to every pr prayer, bless you and keep you in his tender care. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, dear. Oh, Deborah, it's just, you are amazing. <gasps> Look at all this washi tape. Look at all this washi tape. Nine rolls, it says. Bloom where you are planted. I love that. That one says, and look at, they're all flowers. It's like a flower garden in a tube. Nine rolls. Thank you so much. And then here, oh, what's this? Is this a note? I always find the notes at the very end. Okay, let's see what does this say in here. Oh, Deborah. To dear Miss Elizabeth, I hope you like the things I am sending you. I love you. Every, I love you very much with my heart. All my love, your friend, Deborah Mayo. Oh. Now see, talk about pulling at heartstrings. That, you know, you pull, you, you pull on a, on a, on a rope to start your lawnmower and it gets start and just revs it right up. That is how my heart feels. When I read something like this, that pulls at my heartstrings. And look, here's three more. Oh, how pretty. Three more rolls of... Look at this. Three more rolls of washi tape. And look how beautiful. So a dozen rolls of washi tape. Oh, my goodness. I could just, now that, that's, my, my heartstrings have definitely been, been pulled on this one. So my motor is running. Keep your motor running. Get out on the highway. I don't know what that song is, but, oh my goodness. That is so perfect. You know what I'm going to do this time? I'm going to look into my, um. This was sent to me, our daily bread, and this one goes through till August, so I'm going to read today's, wait a minute, today is what, July the 17th. Just a minute, i got to let my bell ring before she runs up over the, the door, just a bit. Okay, come in, darling. Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit. Okay, that was a little bit. That's the neighbor dog, my grand dog. Okay, Wednesday, no, Tuesday, July 17th. This, that's this page right here. Okay, I just can't do it just a minute. Let's put on the glasses here. And let's see what it says here for us for today. I just can't do it, lamented the dejected student. On the page, he could only see 
small print, difficult ideas, and an unforgiving deadline, he needed the help of his teacher. We might experience similar despair when we read Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Love your enemies. Anger is as bad as murder, in verse 22. Lust equals adultery. And if we dare think we can live up to these standards, we bump into this. Be perfect, therefore, as your Heavenly Father is perfect. The Sermon on the Mount produces despair, says Oswald Chambers. But he saw this as good because at the point of despair, we are willing to come to Jesus as paupers to receive from him. In the counter, wait a minute. Oh, in the counterintuitive way, God so often works. Those who know they can't do it on their own are the ones who receive God's grace. As the Apostle Paul put it, not many of you were wise, were wise by human standards, but God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. In God's wisdom, the teacher is also our Savior. When we come to him in faith, through his Spirit, we enjoy his righteousness, holy, holiness, and redemption and the grace and power to live for him. That's why he could say, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And that's in Matthew 5, 3. So this, this, um, oh, today's reading comes from 1 Corinthians 1, 26-31. The law was our tutor to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. And so that's our reading out of the um, Daily Bread that was sent to me by a subscriber. And I just, I, I've been enjoying this. I haven't read it every day because I read different things. But on the days, I can always go back and read the ones that I haven't read. So I thank you for that. I thank you for coming by and enjoying my Happy Meal with me. And um, I look forward to seeing you all on the next video, on your video or mine, the next video. Okay, God bless you all. May he watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you. Okay, God bless. Have a good day.